Welcome back to the City Stat, everyone. Today's the big day. I am gonna plant out my greenhouse for my fall slash winter garden. I cannot wait. I'm so pumped. And from what you can see, I do have a ton of seeds in my hand. And on top of that, I also have a few plants that I had started and they just don't look like they're gonna produce and the season's coming to an end. So I am gonna transplant a couple things in here that are already slightly matured to see what they do in here. Hopefully they can get to that maturity age and produce some food. <laughs> That'd be great, right? That's what we're aiming for. <laughs> so I'm excited. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I'm planting. I'm not gonna show you everything because as you can see, I plan on trying to cram a whole lot of stuff into this little tiny greenhouse for the uh, winter. But I will show you some of the big hits and stuff that I'm doing, some of the things that are a little bit crazier, some of the things that are probably more tame and uh, you know achievable for our winter fall gardening. And I'm using everybody, man. I got MI Gardener seeds. I got some Baker Creek seeds in here, fruition seeds. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah. Recently, I got some stuff from Mary's Heirloom Seeds. This came very uh, well, well recommended from uh, Rose over at Wholesome Roots. And, if Rose tells me a good company that sells seeds, I'm gonna believe Rose because she is like the original OG when it comes to gardening. So she said the uh, awesome company, I'm gonna give them a shot and see how I like it. So let's go ahead and get some stuff going. So you guys know the story a little bit about how I had a kind of a bad season. I've been in and out of town a lot early on in the uh, year. And you wouldn't believe it, but that kind of happened here. So I was getting this greenhouse ready. I cleaned it all out. Probably already saw that video. If not, I'll put a link for it. Uh, on top of that, actually the links are there. <laughs> on top of that, I built some hookah culture beds in here because I had no way of growing anything in here. I had no garden beds or anything. So that's what I ended up choosing. I went with that and I will put a link to that video. Uh, and then right after that happened, I got those finished. And I'm like, all right, I'll give them a day to set, you know, rest. Yeah, the unbelievable thing happened. Uh, very sarcastic there. Of course, I got sent out of town for uh, like a two-week trip. So I got to go down to Lima, Ohio <laughs> for a couple of weeks. And I missed, you know, when I wanted to plant everything. I kind of wanted to let the soil settle. I didn't want to plant the day I made the beds. So I was a little bit bummed that it just happened to work the way it did. But I'm back. I'm here. I'm ready to get this started and try to at least get a little bit here. We're two weeks behind where I wanted to be. Actually, we're like two and a half weeks. But we're a little behind from where I wanted to be. Uh, we're just going to try to catch up. That's why I'm going to use some starts that I already have that are other places that are just not, you know, close to maturity yet. And then we're going to use a lot of seeds because we're still going to try to grow. And we're going to see what this greenhouse can do. And we're going to show you guys everything that we do with it. So you'll get little updates of it, you know, throughout the whole winter until it just peters out and dies and doesn't produce anymore. Or if it makes it all the way to spring, then even better. Better for all of us. So if you didn't see the hookah culture bed video, I will show you them right here. This is a pretty good sized bed. This bed is 8 foot by 32 inches wide. And I put it here because it had these tomatoes in it. You can see they're already fruiting a little bit back there, already turning ripe. And it still actually has flowers on it. So I'm pretty excited because I think I'm still going to get a little bit of cherry tomatoes out of this thing. Which that's just awesome. So I'm going to try to build around that, which was the hookah culture bed around that. And then I also had a little extra space in this front corner when I did all my cleaning out of it. So I just built another small little uh, hookah culture bed. A little small garden area just to see if there was anything else I could get in here. You know, I want to try to maximize my space in here. But I also still want to be able to use this for spring. Like I want to plant early, early in spring in here. And then be able to do my starts. Which is why we still have our bench back here all set up. And we got a little organized. You know, in the video we put all our stuff away. So we got all our stuff back here. So we can start our seeds in here. We still have some room to do that. And we can still plant in here so i think this ver this little greenhouse for what it is is going to become very versatile and we're talking my greenhouse is eight foot wide by about 14 feet deep uh, i got a build playlist somewhere up there i'll put a link for it of uh, the whole process of how i built this it's just a texas prepper uh homestead uh, greenhouse cattle panel greenhouse it's really pretty easy to build I did a couple things differently like I put the wood on the ends because I want to be able to insulate that a little bit and I think 
you know having the wood there I could put the, the foam board in there a little bit better and I just wanted to be able to maybe build a wall with like a chalkboard I could keep notes and gardening stuff on so that's kind of the plan uh, I'll get there eventually <laughs> uh, most of you know I'm pretty slow going with this stuff because I work a lot of hours and sometimes I'm not even at the city stead so projects cannot get done when I'm not here <laughs> but when I am here I try to get some projects done but right now I gotta shut my mouth and get planting so the first thing I had going out in the uh, garden, main garden area was these nice little eggplants. These are the Ichiban Japanese style eggplants. Those are the ones we like. The very, the, the slender ones, they just taste better. Uh, and they're easier to go with a lot of different things. So I got a couple of these that look pretty decent, but have produced zero fruit. So we're gonna move them into the greenhouse and hopefully we can actually get something off of them. So this is why I'm gonna do zucchini over in this corner is because I know it's gonna bush out and kind of take up some of that space. So by having just things on the outside edge, I'm gonna put it in the middle and peas on the outside. I'm hoping that'll give it enough space to be able to kind of contain itself and hopefully I'll harvest something before and I can trim it a little bit, but trying to grow some kind of squash in here is gonna be really tricky just being that it's space limited. And I don't really want to have something heavy like a squash plant climbing up the, the vines here. So I'm gonna do a bush style uh, zucchini right in the center of this bed and we'll see what happens. In the garden. You want to help? Yeah. What do you want to do? Put these in here. You want to put the seeds in the garden? Yeah. You want to plant the seeds? Yeah. Okay. First we have to build the trench. Oh. Uh oh I need my knife. Hold on. Boom. Do you know what this is called? <laughs> Can you say hori hori? Hori hori. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing this. You're gonna do that? What is this? That is. You don't remember what it's called? Yes. What's it called? You tell me. It's a dibber. Or a dibbler. I'm doing it's a dibber. dibbler. I'm gonna put a trench right here. Alright, you wanna plant these parsnips? Yeah, I'll give you some parsnip seeds. Are you ready? Yeah. Now you gotta just kind of sprinkle them along the trench. Oh, in the trench. Get them in the trench, just like this. Oh, hold on. Now let's do another trench. Let's see, we got that one done. Now we're gonna put another trench in the front. Tomatoes. Okay, you want to plant this one? Yeah. Here, get these seeds. Mm -hmm. Drop them in there. Just like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Out there. Did you leave your toys out there? Uh, no. You guys recognize this at all? So I started some of these in the front uh, edible garden and eh, they're doing okay. They're not real big. You can see these guys are pretty tiny, but there's a couple other ones that are somewhat decent size. So I'm going to take these and transplant them in, in here and hopefully they'll last a little bit longer. But if you guys remember, we did a, uh, a video and a lot of people commented about this. And it's an amaranth plant, but it's called Chinese multicolored spinach. I can't remember exactly where I picked these seeds up, but I know that when I bought them, they were like super cheap, like 30 or 40 cents a package. So I just bought a handful of different varieties, and one of them was just a national and pickling cucumber. So we're going to see how fairy morse is. I've never used them before for seeds or anything, so I have no preconceived notions. But I'm hoping this pickling cucumber, being a 55-day cucumber, will be able to kind of get there you know, right about the time where it gets so cold that nothing will really be able to handle this greenhouse, which is January, really. Last year in December, we had somewhat decent temperatures all the way up into it, and then January, when that hit, 
Ooh, it got cold and then we had that vortex come through like the end of January I think it might have been early February and that really just annihilated everything that had any chance of doing anything so we're gonna get this in the ground now and see how this does hopefully we get a little bit of cucumbers that'd be pretty awesome cucumbers in the winter out of the greenhouse I would be in heaven jelly melon cucumber this has got about a 55 70 day uh, grow time on it I don't know, I think this is one of those things where I'm just going to reach a little bit and give it a shot because it looks really fun. I still haven't got the taste one. I tried growing it earlier and we didn't have any luck. So I'm just going to put a couple seeds in the ground in here and who knows, man. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll have a jelly melon cucumber. I feel pretty good about this. I got a lot of stuff planted in here. I got a lot of greens. It's mostly greens because I do realize that it's winter and I am in Michigan. In case you didn't know, I'm in Michigan. Zone 6B, 5A, or 5B, 6A. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the weird combination. We're like a little pocket type. It's a little different. Uh, but I really push as much as I can to try to be a Zone 7. That's what I pretend I am sometimes. Just to really test my boundaries with it, you know, and try to grow more, more variety of things. So what exactly did I plant in here? Spinach, kale, carrots, radish, Cucumber, uh, I'm already forgetting things. Beans, peas, zucchini, and tons and tons of lettuce and some parsnips. So that's the majority of what we did. I transplanted some Malabar spinach, some eggplant, and a couple of pepper plants that I had that I just want to try to push the season a little bit more on. One of them is a jalapeno. I love my jalapenos, they're really good. And the other is a banana pepper, it's kind of a family friendly pepper. Plus with our tomato in here, we got enough stuff in here that it, you know, if it produces and actually grows into maturity, it'd be a nice little uh, snack to have, just to be able to come out here and pull something out of the greenhouse would make me so excited. So this is it, it's planted, I'm happy, I gotta water it all now. And hopefully, Hopefully we get a little something out of this and it's actually a little more worthwhile. If not, then we just learned a lesson. Uh, the lesson would be that we can't grow in the winter in our greenhouse, <laughs> which would not be the lesson we want to learn, but it would be a lesson. <laughs> so until the next time, as always, see you guys in the next video. See ya.